Me it's your boy Grub here back with another video and today I got those video guys man today we're going to be making a tier list of the Legends Fest part one you know what I'm saying so we got uh the Goku 4 tag team saying for Goku Vegeta and then we got the coach 17 you know that good stuff and I feel like the the top 10 definitely does change you feel me uh I'm a, you know, like I said, I'm gonna drop one to ten, and I'm gonna do some honorable mentions as well, and all that good stuff. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So, we don't have the tag Goku Four as PNG, so we're gonna be using Gogeta Four for like the substitute as for the tag force. And then we don't have the Coke Seventeen, so I'm gonna use this Free to Play Seventeen, Super Seventeen as the as the what's name as the as like the substitute for for him so we're gonna use this as coat 17 right here the new purple coat 17 and then hellfighter 17 and then this is gonna be the tag force so yeah without further ado let's get on with it <coughs> i believe number one i believe that this does not change at all um even with the tag force i believe that beast gohan is still number one and it's just because they just type neutral you know although they're greens beast gohan like they're not really he's not really taking a ton of damage from them unless it's towards the end of the match where all his like type sustained damage cut is all gone and all that stuff but other than that this guy is still number one i still see this guy he's everywhere and uh let's hop into the let's hop into the second i believe second is actually in my opinion i personally think uh the tag fours are number two now the reason for this is people are saying like when they rock him on sun fam that he doesn't really flow well and I feel like GT he flows better. I feel like that's what he is like. When I think of Beast Gohan and the Tag Four, re it reminds me of like a like LeBron and, and and Westbrook together. Like they're both individually so amazing. And then like we, but for some reason when you run them together, it's not they're not like a bad not, they're not a bad combo. But it's like they thrive when they're not really paired up with each other. Like Beast Gohan with Future Han and Beast and uh, and Pan, since he's the main damage dealer and those two units are just focusing on just making beast go on hit as hard as possible he shines and then tag fours on gt like you have super 17 you have super baby 2 you have goku 4 like all like they're just making that guy shine but they can they could definitely work together but i feel like they're better off without like running each other they're, like together they're good like they're cool like they're like a if they're together i would say like a like an eight point like a nine nine you know nine out of ten but then when they're together they really shine they're like a ten out of ten when they're on their own teams if that's what if that, if that makes sense right so i've seen a lot of gt people rocking them by themselves i would say the biggest thing about them is their defense their defense sucks but other than that bro they're still a threat uh, i feel like they have some nice stuff in their kit as well i'm gonna put them number two number three i'm gonna put pan uh Pan is still solid, bro. Like she, she doesn't really fall off. I think just the fact that you see in a lot more GT units, their team is really flexible. They can run up Vegeta Clan, Sun Fam with these guys together if you want to, and and uh, with Sans and Vegeta Clan, Sun Fam, GT. So like they just have so much team and flexibility as well. So they just have it all. But I just don't feel like individually they are enough to overthrow Beast Gohan because basically the main team that you're seeing is movies. Hybrids, Sun Fam, GT, and like you know, he's on three of those teams. He's on like three of those teams. So individually, I, I'll give the edge to Beast Gohan. But Pan is number, is number what's his name? Is number three, bro. She can just she makes both of them good because she supports both of them. Beast Gohan, she makes the best unit in the game, even stronger. Type neutral, uh, debuffs, support buffs. She has it all. So I'm gonna put Pan number three. Now for number four. Number four, I'm actually conflicted with number four. Now, it's, it's going to be interesting because, like, I'm conflicted between yellow Goku 4 and I'm conflicted with future Gohan. Now, the reason why is that individually this guy is way better than him. He could be ran with Sun Family as well. He could be ran with GT as well. He could be ran, you can, you can put him on Saiyans, but, you know, GT, Sun Fam, 
all these guys are Sun Fam, you know, and he's GT. You know, this guy's hybrids, right? Hybrid Sun Fam, and they're both yellows. So it's one of those things where this guy makes him way powerful, but him as an individual unit is better. So in my personal opinion, I'll probably take I'll probably take Future Gohan over Goku 4 because it's the synergy like these three synergy is insane you know he's not a bad he does he, he can hit he can do a lot of damage as well doesn't do he doesn't hit as hard as him his value is really great as well like it's really like I could even I could put him five and put him four like it's 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 like you can switch you can switch future Gohan and Goku 4 I just feel like since his support amplifies this guy you know that's it that says a lot but um this guy is also great as well i'm gonna put him five I, that's the lowest that he's gonna go for me it's five five or four five or four four five five four you know saying you can enter you can enter you can switch between these three i mean these two right here now number six number six is gonna be um i think it's gonna be what's the name i'm gonna put this guy here i'm gonna put ultra broly here you know ultra broly is on movies so you can rock them with beast go on and like he kind of he's like the best purple to shut down the tag force like you know they want to ramp up so they can switch over and all that good stuff and like once they get once he hits he gets hit five times i think it's four to five times he kind of just stops their he kind of stops their key destroys their cars it kind of like they slow he kind of slows down their momentum so i would put him number six i'll put him number six I definitely think Goku 4 is better than uh, Broly for sure, bro. Like, he's just, he's insane with his plan. And then having him, having another damage dealer, he doesn't have to carry that much weight. His Zenkai helps. So I'm going to put Broly number 6. I'm going to put Broly number 6. Movies is still a good team. You can rock these three together. So um, that's not a bad thing. But now he's kind of facing a lot more yellows, right? he got to deal with this guy, and then he also has to deal with this guy. And those are really the main two yellows that you're seeing, right? Them two together. So, uh although he can like shut them down and be ran with them like he kind of can't really do much against these guys he kind of they kind of put this broly in check as well so i'm gonna put broly number six now number seven number seven um let's see so when i'm thinking about the meta you know number seven who would i put i'll actually put hmm I think number seven, I'm gonna put Ultra Gogeta. I think I'm gonna put Ultra Gogeta number seven. Now, the reason for that is you can run, you can run him on movies with Beast Gohan. You can definitely do that. The fact that he can, uh, you know, go tight neutral against Tag Force, right? Remember they're green, so he can go tight neutral against them, and then he does extra damage to the to the Vegeta side. So. Um, either way, like when he get when he locks you in, he's either type neutral or he's type advantage for those those two like um, situations right there. He has blast armor. Like I say, he can be ran with Beast Gohan and stuff because they're movies, and or and with Broly as well. He has blast armor. I feel like Gogeta still is in the top ten. I'm gonna put him number seven. Uh, you don't see him that much, but you know in certain scenarios he has ways of dealing with Beast Gohan as well. When he pops the old card, he nullifies endurance for. 30 time accounts he has that twice so he can nullify his endurance he can nullify this guy's endurance so you do have a chance of killing beast gohan if the uh, situation comes in front of this guy so i would put him number seven now number eight number eight i'm actually gonna put purple 17 this is purple 17 this ain't free to play yellow 7 this is purple 17 purple 17 i'm gonna put him number eight now a lot of you guys might be like you know what about usv you know usv is definitely uh is definitely not a bad unit but i don't know bro i, I really been digging 17 the support that he gives for gt is insane he makes this guy hit harder although he's a blast based unit just the support he has and the fact that his green card can nullify endurance so you can rush these two right here right you guys can rush them if you catch them pop the green card you're able to you know catch them on the time stop or whatever they he can rush and kill them off that green card for five timer counts which is nice 
Uh, his support is nice. Every time he enters the field, he gives like some type of debuff and support when he switches out. I've been digging him. I've been digging. Him. I think I'm actually gonna put this guy number eight for sure. You know, I'm gonna put him number eight, and let's hop into the ninth spot. Now, the ninth spot, I will actually put in. Do I put in USV here? Do I put in USV or do I put in Piccolo? I haven't been seeing too much Piccolos like that. Like compared to when he was first out. I don't be seeing too many Piccolos. But I'm trying to think of all the units that are left. I mean, I feel like... I feel like Revival Gohan. Um, USV. Piccolo. I see three units that's possible, that could possibly fit in the top ten. Cooler, I don't think Cooler does. I don't think Cooler makes it on there. I don't see Cooler at all. I'm probably going to put... Revival Gohan, you know, he could be on Sun Fam with him. Now, these these five right together. He could be on movies, right? One, two, um, three, uh, four, five. He could be on hybrids, right? So he's on a lot of the the top meta teams as well. And then he's just really, I feel like you got to put him number nine for sure. You got to put him number nine. He's probably the best LF right now. Like that's a year and a half old. That doesn't have a plat, so. He can only get better. Um, like I said, he can be ran with these guys. He can ran with so many setups. This, like Sun Fam, you know, hybrids, movies, right? Like, he's on a lot of those teams. So, I'm going to put this guy number nine. Now, number 10. I think number 10 I'm actually going to put in USV here. But I don't really see USV that much. It's like, do I put USV? Okay, now, this is what, this is what makes uh, tier list difficult. It's like... Do you like like for me? It's like, do you I value what he does for the top tier units and stuff, or do I value individually? You know, um, because like this guy is way better than Piccolo individually. But then it's like, but Piccolo makes this guy better. He makes you know, right? Like you you understand what I'm saying? Because like Piccolo is basically on movies though. But he's he makes this guy really good, but he's not really needed that much. You don't really it's not a must have for Beast Gohan, right? Like you don't really need to rock the blue, purple, red. Like this is a, a superior setup for him. So is is this really interesting? Like what do I, where do I place this pickle? I don't really know. Like I said, he does support Beast Gohan. He is part of a meta team, which is movies for him. But in USB. Right, like you can rock the sand setup. Um, you know, he does have to face against her and stuff. Fusions, you don't really see fusions at all. So it's one of those things is do I just do I pick USB because he's individually better, or do I pick Piccolo because he has a way of supporting Beast Gohan? Now one thing I did like about Piccolo is that whenever he does pop whenever he does switch out, he can lock in that uh person that is attacking and you go beast gohan and you can pop the blue card. But I believe Goku's ability is like when someone uh enters the field i think they seal a strike card i believe let me see there's something right there like on their kid yeah yeah so every time this character uses a strike a blast seals enemies blue card oh when he uses a strike a blast card so i thought it was when they cover change in that he seals a blue card am i tweaking oh didn't know that did not know that until now i thought like they sealed the blue card but that's whenever he uses a strike a blast card. Interesting, interesting. All right, uh, just want to make sure that I got it right. I'm just looking on my phone real quick. Reduce this enemy key, take any damage with it. Yeah, so this is, he's dead. I mean, what about Vegeta's kid? Vegeta get the same. All right, the All right, the every time just uses, he steals their blue card. Yeah, so that's basically, yeah, so what I'm saying about that is every time they land a strike card for the Goku side, like Piccolo can cover change and go to Beast Gohan, but since he land that strike card, Beast Gohan won't be able to pop that blue card against the green, against uh, the the tag force because of the, on the Goku side, but on the Vegeta side, you can snipe and everything, you know, one shot. So for this, do I value individual stats or do I value Piccolo? I think I'm going to just put... USB here, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put USB here. I think 
I think he kind of just has it individually. I think I'm gonna just just for this case, you know, I'm gonna I'm put USB above Piccolo. And then number eleven, um, the honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. I will probably put Piccolo here. You know, I'll put Piccolo in there. Um, let me see. Anybody else? Honorable mentions. I'll probably put. Would I put green trunks here? I'll put green trunks in here. I'll put green trucks in here. Cooler. I don't really see cooler at all, though. Right? You know, I don't see cooler at all because the beast go on. Um. Any other? I mean, I'll put. I'll definitely put. I'm definitely gonna put cooler here for sure. Like, I'm definitely gonna put them there. I might put MUI probably above cooler because Sun Fam and Saiyans, you know, this guy's on movies. So I think I'm gonna give them that. And then probably one more unit. If I have to put one more unit in here, I might put anybody that I'm missing. Hopefully I'm not missing nobody. Let me check. I think I'm gonna put cell here. I think I'm gonna put cell in here. Maybe should I put cell above? I don't know. I wouldn't put cell above because you know what I'm saying you're you're seeing a lot more yellows, so I'll probably put cell like here. I think this is probably my list right now. I'm just trying to check to make sure I'm not missing anybody that deserves being near the droids. I don't really see. You know, you could put the droids there. You could. You know, I'll probably do something like this, whatever. Um, would I put the droids? I maybe put the droids over cell. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably put the droids over cell. I'll probably do that. Uh, I'll probably take cell out. I'll probably take cell out. Might put the droids over, uh, should I put them? Yeah, I'm probably put them over cooler. You know what I'm saying? Because, hmm, yeah, I'm gonna put them over cooler. So, everything else, that's good. That's the list. I think this is the list. Let me know what you guys think. So, yeah, Beast Han, I'm gonna put them number two. I'm gonna put them number two. Uh, um, Pan three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I've been digging. I've been digging what's the name a lot. And then, yeah, I'm going to put this there. So, um, now, you got to take in the fact, when it, for these lists, I'm taking the fact individually and, like, what he does for the meta in terms of the meta units. So, I just feel like he has a little bit more value right now. Like, individually, he's kind of just being here because individual and his teams and stuff is not really it right now. But his team is kind of it. GT is kind of rocking right now. And then, individually, he's not that bad at all. Like, I've really been digging him. He has a ways of... Sniping Beast Gohan. So I really, I really, I've been digging this. So let me know what you guys think. You know, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think this is it with the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, I think this is my top 10 list. Let me know what you guys think. If you had to change something, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll grow up, man. I'm out. Peace.